Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got a request to do a heart shaped pocket for this pillow that I did. If you're looking for the pillow, it's already on my channel. You'll have to go check my playlist. Um, I just got pictures here just of me and my sister um, in the pocket just to show you um, how big it is, give you an idea anyway. Um, I could shove those pictures down more, but I don't really need to. I don't need to pick them on either. So it's fairly big, and then um, I'm probably not going to sew it on with you because I already have the one. So I'll make the heart with you, and then you just have to basically sew it. Like, I sewed it part way up the, the bumps, and then down and around. I just didn't sew the top, so. Um, yeah, let's get started. So for this project, the same as my heart project, I used two pieces of yarn. This is a Red Heart Sparkle Cake. I just used the gray out of it. I just separated all the colors in the sparkle cake with my yarn winder. If you need to see my yarn winder, that's also on my channel. And then this other one is just a Red Heart Super Saver. I'm using a 6.5 for this project. All right, we're gonna start with a slip knot and we're gonna chain four. We're do doing double crochets for this. So in this first stitch that you made, this one right here by your thumb and your slip knot, you're gonna put two double crochets in there. So the reason we did four is to use it as a stitch. So you've got two stitches, you're going to put two double crochets each in there. You're going to chain two and you're going to turn. So we're just going to keep increasing so you're going to put two double crochets in the first hole. So we're basically making the heart the same way that we made our other one. Well, a little bit different, but basically the same way. You're going to put two double crochets. And then you're going to put two double crochets in this last stitch. Chain two, turn your work. Two double crochets in the first stitch. Sorry, I got stuck. Uh, four double crochets. And two double crochets in the last stitch. Chain two, turn your work. So you should have eight stitches along the top. We're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch. Six double crochets across. And then two double crochets in the last stitch. Chain two, turn your work. You should have ten stitches. Two double crochets in the first stitch.
Chain two. Turn your work. So now you should have 12 stitches. So now you can do two double crochets in this stitch, 10 DCs across, and then every row is going to increase by two. Because you're putting two extra stitches at the beginning and at the end, so I shouldn't really have to say it. Chain two, turn your work. So your next round, we're on round eight. You should have 14 stitches across. It's gonna be same thing, but with two extra stitches. <laughs> two double crochets in the first stitch. 12 stitches across. Do you have 16 stitches across? Sorry, I'm struggling with my yarn here. Round 9. Two double crochets in the first stitch. And uh, 14 stitches across. Sorry, my camera shut off. So your next round is going to be round 10. Two double crochets in the first stitch. Two double crochets in the last stitch. And then 16 double crochets in the middle. So at the end of this row, you should have 20 stitches. And we're just about at the humps. Normally you'd have an uneven number for the humps, but I made it work. Chain two, two, turn your work. Round 11, last, last round before the humps. Two double crochets in the first stitch. 18 double crochets across, two double crochets in the last stitch.
chain two and turn. So you should have 22 stitches. So we are going to do just regular double crochets. This first stitch that everybody forgets about anyway, we're going to skip that. We're going to use the chain two as that stitch. So go into your next stitch and you're going to double crochet 10 across to that number one. Don't count your chain two. That's my 10. You're going to chain 2. You're going to turn your work. So we're going to instantly start decreasing. So yes, you're going into this first stitch. You're going to do a decrease, a double crochet decrease. So you're going to yarn over and go in like you're doing a double crochet. But you're only going to come through 2 and then you're going to stop. You're going to yarn over again and go through your second stitch and pull through. You're going to come through two and then you're going to come through three. So that's how you do a double crochet decrease. Then you can do six double crochets across. And then these last two stitches, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do a decrease. Chain two and turn. You can do the same thing. You're going to do a double crochet decrease in the first two stitches. Starting with this first one that you share the chain two space with. You're going to double crochet four. And then last two stitches, you're going to double crochet decrease. So this time I want you to chain one and turn. You should have six stitches on the top here. The first stitch that you share this chain two space with, you're going to put a single crochet. The next stitch you're going to put a half double crochet, so that's a yarn over. Go into your stitch, pull through all three loops. So it's almost like a double, but it's not. So that's your half double. The next two stitches are going to get two double crochets each. Then the next stitch is going to get a half double. And then the last stitch is going to get a single crochet. So there's no stitch here, but go into this next space and do your slip stitch. And you're going to fasten off. Don't need a sewing tail or anything like that. So you're going to make another slip knot and now we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So you just want this loop to be as small as your hook. You're going to attach. You should have 11 spaces. You're going to put a double crochet in that same stitch. You're going to double crochet nine across. 
this would be your 10th one. The last two stitches, I want you to, I'm not weaving that in anymore, double crochet these two together. So you know how we skipped the first one over here? Well, this is basically the same concept. And it's only because I could get a decent shape out of it. So chain two and turn. So we're doing the exact same thing. I put you're going to decrease the first two and the last two and put DCs in the middle. So double crochet until you have two stitches left. That should be six double crochets and then the, you can double crochet the two together for a decrease. So chain two and turn. Turn your work. You should have six stitches on top. And this is where we're going to do our single crochet. We're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do two double crochets in the next two stitches each. Then you're going to do a half double crochet. And the last stitch gets a single crochet. So do the same thing. Go into this next space. You're just going to have to create a space to do your slip stitch. Oh, I'm snagged on something as usual. Sparkly stuff is really pretty to work with, but sometimes I tell you. And you can fasten off. So, the reason we didn't fasten off with the sewing tail is because we're in the wrong spot. So, I'm going to cut this off here because I weaved it in. So go ahead and hide all your dealios. So, be careful how you pull this knot down. But you do want to pull it in and but you don't want to lose the shape either. So three different directions. So if it does get a snag, it's not going to pull out that easily. And again, we've got a knot here, so. You want to go in and just watch how you pull it down. I don't think I really have enough to go three ways there, but it's going to be sewn to something, so I guess it's not a huge, huge big deal. Don't forget about this guy down here. So this one you want to make sure that, um, for one, it's even. Um, you want to make sure when you pull that you don't lose your point. I'm just going to go straight up. Again, I'm not going to be too serious about that. So, once your heart is complete, I didn't pull my knot very good there. So, to sew it on, you're obviously, you're going to have to reattach. I'm not sewing this on because I already sewed one onto my pillow. And I don't really need one sewn onto my pillow. Move this up a bit. 
So let me turn it over. When you sew this on, you're going to want to make, so just use one piece of yarn. I used the silver. So I'm just going to grab a little piece to show you. So I made a slip knot on the one end. And then I threaded my needle with the other end. So to attach this, so I sewed part way up the hump. I'll just show you here to attach it. I come down into the pillow and up through, actually let's go up through a space in the stitching. So I pull until I, my hoop came, my loop came to me. And then I'm going to go through the loop. I'm going to take the tail and my lead and I'm going to pull and I'm going to make a really tight knot. You can make that a double knot if you want. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to go into the heart. Because we don't want this all to be around the outside. You're just going to go into the heart and you're just going to pull up some and you're going to. So when you come through. You don't want to stitch that long because you don't want things to fall out on the sides. So go back behind your lead and make another stitch. So go ahead and get your pillow or your heart sewn on your pillow and I'll meet you. You can and you can put it anywhere. Now I just started near the, the point but you can put your heart shape anywhere you want. And I'll meet you right back here after. Well thanks for joining me guys. And I'll see you in the next video.